So hello, you're on the red carpet with me, Melissa D. Gordon, and unfortunately we have some flooding going on in Houston, Texas, and I am a survivor of a, um, a disaster area of a flood that happened in uh, 2011, and it was uh, Hurricane Irene, and um, I'm actually on the phone with my mom. Hi mom, are you there? Yes, I am, and I am looking at the flooding situation in Houston, Texas. Uh -huh. my heart, and my heart goes out to those people who are going to be terribly, terribly devastated from the results of this water. Uh, yes, wind is very serious because it, it blows things to pieces, okay? And you can't find anything you might want to look for. Where, if you're flooded, you go back and you look at the devastation, the dirt, the filth, things ruined. Mm -hmm. This is impossible to put back together. And you don't know what to do. The first thing to do is to contact FEMA. Yeah. FEMA will give you every bit of help that you you will need. Okay. It will direct you to the best outcome you can have. Okay. If you don't have insurance, of course, that is the next best thing. FEMA is your insurance. Okay. What I experienced when I was flooded was an explosion afterward. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I had turned off all the gas and everything else. There happened to be a, well, a gas methane underneath and coming into my home. I know, we had an explosion. Uh, the house, therefore, exploded. Yeah, and, and wait, hold on, Mom. Just in case nobody knows, um, I'm reporting here in Tuxedo Park. My name is Melissa D. Gordon, and um, we're talking about Hurricane... Um, Irene. Yeah, Hurricane Irene, but yes. right now... Um, uh, we, we confronted that situation. Yes, yes. Okay, so, so my mom has tips for people out there right now, and she's giving us tips that, you know, right now if your home gets flooded or, you know, you're... you're all right, Mom... Right. Knows already what what they're in for. for. The worst thing you can think of is the loss of your possessions. Now, if uh, it's the flood, that you're you're considering water, and water damage is very serious, of course. Mm -hmm. So you need to get things out of the water if you had time to do that. Now that means if you have a second floor, you'll go to that. Okay. Because it's doubtful that you will receive more water damage, uh, let's say, more than six feet in the house. Or maybe maybe it'll be your total house. I've lived in that area, too. But it's a serious thing, and so you want to protect as much as you can by lifting it to safety. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there's nothing much you can do. Oh, jeez. Okay? It, it brings such bad memories to back, Ma. Take care of yourself. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing is safety safety is always first. And, yes. people, you know, safety is first. If, if, if there's, if you don't feel that your safety, you know, don't, don't feel that, you know, leaving an animal and an animal is, you know, your prime concern is your life. Take it is, with you if you yeah, can. Yeah, exactly. Can. Get out of the house if you can. You know, no belongings and materialistic, right, Mom, is more important than your life. And we know that, right? Right. Government's advice yep. is to what? Leave, then go away. Go as far as you can uh, and, and don't go back until you get the all clear. On the other hand, uh, it's a very serious thing because your home doesn't mean you won't have electricity. You'll have a lot of terrible things that hinder you from getting back on your feet. Right. So... It's best to stay with family or wherever you can get put up. Right. And and go back when you can. Okay, and listen. Over the quick, situation. quick, quick thing, Mom. Um, it, 
turning the electricity on or off. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you have been with, with your panel underwater, don't do it until it is looked at by professionals. Okay. No. And the township sometimes turns on electricity, and therefore there's a danger of fire. Yeah. And don't think, think of everything is so wet that it doesn't burn because things Scary. can explode. And, okay. and, and that's the main thing. So everybody be careful. Be safe in Houston. And um, from the Gordon family, we hope everybody is safe. And uh, don't forget, um, if you need help, there's the Red Cross out there. And Mom, Absolutely. who who else? Who else do people? Orders. Yeah, who else? The Salvation Army. Okay, yeah. Who else should should people call? You think? Oh, I just said you can call the FEMA, and and if you have your church, they are always ready to give their parishioners assistance. And anyone that is the Christian thing, your neighbor. Even if he is in his same situation, being in contact with your neighbor mm -hmm. is a very important thing. Okay. There's water, there's this, and uh, drinking water, yeah. shopping, yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. it, it's, everybody's willing to help one okay. another. All right, and so this is the uh, test that we all have to go through sometimes. And we don't understand why uh, this devastation happens to those who love nature, but nature is a fickle woman. <laughs> all right, Mom. Okay. Um, how? Uh, all right. I, so you're in Maine now, and uh, how is it up there? Well, it's a cool situation here. We've had beautiful weather lately, Good. and very little rain. So, uh, you know, our crops don't tolerate no rain. But so we're gonna cut that part. Okay. okay. Here we are, right. so live we'll, reporning we'll from Tuxedo we'll Park. Go. And our president, believe me, will give us all the help that we can uh, and, and need. That we are very, very in need yeah, well, we of hope, assistance. Yeah, well, we hope, we hope everything works out great, and we'll be back after these messages live hey, on the redcarpet.net.